Welcome back to the American Rancher Christmas Special. It's been our tradition each year to share with you a beef recipe, and this year we've got a treat. We're at the world-famous Joe T. Garcia's restaurant in Fort Worth, Texas. They've been in business since 1935, and here in the Southwest, a tradition for Christmas is beef tamales. We are honored to have Mr. Philip Landcart. He's gonna show us the process in making a great beef tamale. Show me the ropes. All right, well, thank you so much for having me. And I tell you what, we start out with, uh, of course, beef. And then from beef, we also have our chili ancho, chili guajillo. We have our spices, black peppers, salt, onions, garlic, uh, a little clove. And we also have a masa. We will come up and make a masa, and which will, have, uh, will be the base of our tamale. Then we'll roll it up with a beef, and then we'll steam it, and then uh, we'll serve it. We start with a base of masa. Masa is a hominy. Basically cook in boiling water, strain. You use a little lime to, to clean it, and then you basically strain it with water, and then basically stone grind it. And when you stone grind it, it comes out in a coarse, and you, it needs to be coarse, not too fine, so it breaks away from the husk. Otherwise, it's gonna stick to the husk. And then, of course, you have to season it with uh, salt and a little lard and a little baking powder. And then also to get the color that we use, for the uh, meat, we use a chili guajillo and chili ancho. These are really two really nice that all through Mexico you use for a lot of different cuisines and cooking. And you blanch them and then basically then you stone grind these two as well. And then it comes out to a paste that we have right here. And then when you mix the paste along with the, the meat that's already pre-cooked, then it turns out to a nice red color and you know, it looks really nice and that would be our filling, the, the beef. Now tell me about the beef that you start with. The beef that we start with is 100%, it's uh, peel knuckles, and the peel knuckles are the front part of the cow, up on the top shoulders, and they're uh, really, that's one of the tenderest parts you can get other than tenderloin. And season that with salt, pepper, clove, garlic, boil that up, and then we'll shred that up to mix along with the paste. Then when you start with your um, corn husks. The corn husks are basically come to us and they're dry. They have, they're real dry, so you have to soak these corn husks and soak them for about, you know, about an hour. So they'll loosen up, and these are already wet here, so then they become real nice and wet and moist, and then they're able to spread a lot easier. And then you, you'll spread them, we'll show you how to spread them, and then fill them with the masa and the meat. Pal, this is Martha, and Martha's been an employee for us for over 25 years, and she's, uh, but the last 15 years, she's been uh, helping us uh, roll tamales. And she's really pretty good at it, I mean, she really is. So right now what she's doing is she's actually, you know, putting the masa on the corn husk, and she'll actually, you know, put X amount, let them set out. And of course, she's used to doing 300 dozen a day, so this is, she's really pretty quick at this. Say that again, 300 dozen Does a, a day. day. By herself. And that's one of the things that I love about Joe T's is because this is all homemade food. You're not getting this out of, oh, uh, no, no out can. of the freezer. Oh, no, no can. We sell them by the dozen, uh, also here at S Joe T's. And then also we have uh, Esperanza's too that we sell uh, tamales as well to go by the dozen. A lot of famous people come here and they know about Joe T's. They, and you guys don't do hardly any advertising at all. No, we don't. It's word of mouth. I mean, really, it is. I mean, for all these years, uh, we're fortunate and very, very successful. And this is, uh, all our my grandmother's recipes, so we're still, just, we're still performing the same thing. Phil Knuckle, what we do is we'll, just, we'll pepper this up a little bit, do a little salt along with this as well. You gotta season it really pretty good because you know, as you're gonna sit there and you're gonna boil this to get this thing to, so we can shred it, then um, it's gonna really have to simmer for a long time, for about two to three hours. We'll throw this in here. We have the pill knuckles in here with all the spices and seasoning. It's gonna simmer, boil pretty much for two to three hours. Then we'll take this out, and then we'll actually strain it, we'll actually shred it, and then we'll add this with our chili ancho and chili guajilla paste to go to make the final product. It's all beef, boys, let's enjoy. And here we go, Pam, and this is a tamale, and I'll even, and here's one of the ways you open these things up. Man, we're talking earlier about them coming off and not having to stick to the uh, corn husk. And there we go. You got one with and one without. Okay. Mm. There we go. 
Well, I've learned how to make beef tamales, but Philip, I think I'm going to make reservations at Joe T's or Esperanza's. Well, you come on and do that. We'll be glad to take you. And my, my name is Philip Lankar. Merry Christmas to all, and come have dinner with us. Beef is served all across the country at Christmas, but in the Southwest, beef tamales are a favorite. Our thanks to Philip Landcart and Joe T. Garcias for that great recipe. Especially at Christmas, we purpose to acknowledge and appreciate our armed forces for their sacrifice and the freedom that they have given us. Here's a story about an organization that keeps our veterans and their families in mind. Victory Equine Therapy Center in Flower Mound, Texas is the splendid new home of the therapeutic riding services headed up by Michael Hogue, formerly of Rocky Top Therapy Center. The new center recently opened and is located about 45 minutes north of downtown Fort Worth, just off Highway 377 at Farm Road 1171. It is an operation that's founded on using horses to rehabilitate and enrich the lives of people. Last April, we took possession of uh, almost 28 acres of land uh, that is uh, here in Flower Mound. Uh, I can tell you, as soon as I drove through the front gate, I knew this was going to be the new home. Horses for Heroes is a program that continues to offer our military veterans and their families a unique method of rehabilitation. According to physicians, there are therapeutic benefits in horseback riding. Many, many years ago, over 400 years ago, it was found that if, uh, if a warrior fell from a horse or had a battle injury, the sooner that warrior was able to return to riding status, uh, they got better just that much quicker. When you're riding on a horse, your body is firing every muscle group as if you were out on a brisk walk. The Horses for Heroes program is made possible by a grant from the Texas Veterans Commission Fund for Veterans Assistance. The Fund for Veterans Assistance provides grants to organizations serving veterans and their families. Victory Equine Therapy Center welcomes contributions to help them continue their mission. The majority of our, uh, of our clients who have come through that program have been returning combat veterans who have post-traumatic stress disorder uh, or combat stress, or some of them have had physical injuries as well that come here and we are, not, we are able to provide our services to that service member, but then to treat the family is a bonus because they wear this stress every bit as this service member does. The horse becomes the vehicle for trust, for building trust, that bridge back. And then when, once that is reestablished, the, the client then feels far more comfortable in inviting the therapist into the therapy process. And it is at that time that a therapist is able to begin unwrapping the many layers uh, that is holding this person uh, in such a state of distress. Victory Equine Therapy Center is a great place that is helping people. In their minds, that's what it's all about every day of the year. We have been able to take every inch of this property and capture it either as a, a working pasture or renovate or build brand new facilities. Behind us is the Chris Kyle uh, Counseling Center, named, of, uh, named in honor of Chris Kyle, Amer America's top sniper who was killed about a year ago. Because of Horses for Heroes, we have developed a staff that has become not just professional but very adept at what they do. And what we have found, veterans are getting better faster. For more information, contact Victory Equine Therapy Center at victorytherapy.org or call 682-831-1323. It is a warm and beautiful place that I know our clients will enjoy coming to. And uh, everyone who has been out here uh, has said they, they have left feeling very, very blessed. And uh, we, we invite people to come and, and check us out. I think they will love what they find here. Christmas is a time for counting our blessings and remembering friends. We extend our warmest thanks and best wishes to our United States military and their families during this season. There are many great organizations doing good works with regard to our veterans and their families. And we simply say, keep up the good work. We've got more cheer for you when we return. 
This is the American Rancher Christmas Special. Stay with us.